The Marvels is the greatest movie ever made. This movie was good. So good. So I don't, I don't want to talk about it too much. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Good movie. Good movie. Is that all I got? Is that, is that it all, Kevin Fly? Yeah? Okay, put the fuck- PUT THE FUCKING GUN AWAY! <laughs> and let's just get right into it. Uh, the movie that we're talking about is the film... The... What is it? The Marvels! The Marvels is an action fantasy adventure film. Carol Danvers gets her powers entangled with those of Kamala Khan and Monica Rambo forcing them to work together to save the universe. The film's runtime is 105 minutes. The film's rating is PG-13 in color. The film is written and directed by Nia DaCosta. So let's just fucking, let's just do it. Let's just, let's just do it. But first off, for the first time ever in my film going experience, after going, after the movie ended, I, of course, now I am an adult. I have, I, I, Build the box. I am an adult now, so I went to the bar to get me a beer, to 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 forget what I saw. <laughs> but yes, the Marvels, man, this movie. This is this is probably the worst Marvel movie, MCU movie ever. This might be it. This might be the worst. This is like Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. While watching it, I was kind of like, all right, I'm enjoying this, I guess. But you know, afterwards, uh, the more I thought about it, the worse it became. Thor Love and Thunder, same situation. I was actually enjoying it more, actually, while watching the movie. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought, yeah, this is not a good movie. This is the moment, this is the movie where right when I tasted it, I knew it was shit and fucking garbage. And that was quick. That was like a fast, like, auto reaction. Like, oh, God, this is, this is not good. Uh, yeah, the Marvels, I don't want to hate it. I don't want to shit on the movie uh, because it's like, I don't like shitting on movies. But, you know, that's what we're doing, I guess. But let's just, I like, before we even talk about this, let's just go straight to the point. You know, the state of Marvel is not doing so good. Endgame was, like, the end. And, like, everything else has been DLC. There's some been really good DLCs. No Way Home, Guardians of the Galaxy. And, and there's some, some like, some, some like this one. This, this movie. And uh, I, had a, I had a beer to, to, to deal with it. Yeah, this movie... In tech, first off, not only is it just a badly written movie, it's also just in technical, and just technically it's terrible. It's like a techni technical shit show because it's, first off, the editing was all over the place that I couldn't even conceive what the F, what the heck was going on. There was so much shit going on. And not in a good way, to the point where I'm like, I'm having a headache now. And and then, and just also just technically, technical issues. Like, I remember, that, I don't know if y'all had the same experience, but there was like a moment, there was like a shot of a ship and they were like talking over it. I'm like, okay, are they walking out of the ship? Maybe it was like a shot where it's like, oh, zoom out ship. And then they're walking while talking. No, it's just a zoom out of the ship. And then five seconds later, they, they, they this shots of them talking. Like, that was fucking shit. It was terrible. It was a terrible shot. Whoever decided to do that one. Or that was just a bad error. That was an error editing wise. And yeah, this movie's bad. Performances, you got Brie Larson play, uh, playing Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel. She's fine in this movie. I I think she I think she was more emotion I mean more I guess likable in this movie in a way. She was she she she's more likable in this movie. I, I I liked I liked I liked her a little more, I guess, but not enough for me to be like, yeah, Captain Marvel fucking rules. She was fine in the movie. She was alright. She wasn't the worst thing ever. And you also got Tayona Paris playing Monica Rambo, and I actually I like her character from WandaVision, and they kind of just do nothing with her character until like the end, like nothing, no character development, no like emotions, nothing. I mean they tried with with her, I guess her reunion with Captain Marvel, but that was not enough. They that it really didn't stick the landing, and she was just there, I guess. To just be there, and then by the end, she does she does something cool. That's it. That's that's her character. The best part of this movie, and I think a lot of people are saying it, is Iman Vellani as Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. I love this. I love her. She's she's just such a likable character, and you could tell that the actress really just loves like comic books and the MCU, and just is a huge fan of it. And just it's just you could tell that she's just happy to be there, and you just love her energy. 
throughout the movie, and she's probably the best character in this film. And the the one that I'll take out and say, yeah, she was really good in that movie, and I'm glad she was good. But it just sucks that her character has been in a shitter. It just sucks. Hopefully, hopefully she gets a project where she's you know in a good movie. And you also got uh, the villain played by Zawa Austin playing the kid, the, the character Darbin. And this is the worst villain probably in the MCU. This is truly the worst villain in the MCU. This is like head on with Thor Dark World villain, like to where you just forget their names and just so forgettable that you just forget who they are. And yeah, and it's not even the actress's fault. It really is just the writing and what they did to her. Her character is no one. Like by the end, she's pointless to the story. Like you could have just taken her out of the fucking movie. And, and I mean, yeah, you needed an antagonist, I guess, for them to fight, but. The, truly the worst villain ever created by the MCU. This is just terrible. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson plays, of course, returning as Nick Fury, and they, they really just fucking ruined this character. They really just did. Like, the, this is not the Nick Fury. This, uh, this is Scroll Nick Fury or some shit. That the Scroll who played Nick Fury, this, this, he's been doing this for a while. Because this is not my Nick Fury. This is this is not the Nick Fury from Iron Man, Winter Soldier, and just being the hard veteran, cool guy. He's just a fucking goofball, man. He really is just a goofball in this movie. Yeah. It's a shame. It's a shame what they've done. And I guess I, I put uh, the guy, the, the brother from Parasite, Park Si Yon, as Prince Yon. The, I guess the love interest, or just I guess she, her, he has uh, he has history with Captain Marvel. That was honestly the worst part of the movie. Is that I'm not gonna talk about it. It was like, it was like a side quest, I guess. It was shit. It was terrible. I was just like, I cannot believe fucking doing this yeah performances are fine by everybody nobody really pulls a shit performance but no one pulls i guess a good performance except for miss marvel kamala khan because she is just such a lovable character the screenplay by megan mcdonald and Alyssa karasek and i and i should you know when i was researching these the people who wrote this they literally have never written a film ever in their in, in their career this is their first film they might have helped, I guess, with, with the shows and stuff. But they this is their first time writing a film. And you could just tell. Man, God, this is awful. Awful screenplay. Awful story. The story is boring. It's not even interesting. The score by Laura Karpman, who did the, the music for a TV film called Doing Time on Maple Drive, Man in the Chair, and uh, and just for jokes the video game kung fu panda 2 because why not <laughs> she did the score for that and yeah this is not a memorable score it's fu it's just sci-fi shit and that's nothing crazy the chemistry between the cast is it's good they, i mean when they're together it's cool they have actual good chemistry together they're, they they seem like a nice squad but they didn't do much with it. I mean, they do a little bit of it, and then they skip it to do the shit. The story that's just awful. The DP by Sean Bobbitt, who did the TV film The Life and Adventures of Nicholas. Uh, Nickleby. Hunger and 12 Years a Slave. And it's a, I mean, there's isn't a shot where I could just point out and say, yeah, that's a pretty good shot. Except for maybe a shot with the cats. That was cool. It was funny. I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was cool. I, yeah, the DP, it shot well. I give it that shot. Pretty alright. The editing by Catherine Headstrom and Evan Schiff, who did the editing for John Wick Chapter 2, John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, and Nobody. And the, the editing is weak. It, it is weak. It's not good. It's very all over the place. So goofy and it's just all over the place it's it's not even cohesive the production design by Kara Brower I mean the costumes look like fucking Power Rangers type costumes and yeah the production is fine I mean it, it's a lot of, they put a lot of money to this film I give yeah, they put a lot of money like 200 mil actually it's crazy the action scenes are generic nothing where I'm gonna be like yeah it's a great action no not really the VFX, I mean, you could just tell that these artists are just fucking sweating in tears of just being overworked. with, And you can see it with each frame. The VFX is just... I mean, it's not terrible, but it's there's some where it's like, this is some straight-out-of-CW type shit. And 
Yeah, the Marvels, man. This is a, this is terrible. Like a genuine, I, I, this is a terrible movie. Like I, while watching this movie, I was literally like just watching. Like what the fuck am I doing with my life? The only reason I went to see this movie legitimately is because I can't. It's a streak from 2016. Doctor Strange. I have not missed the MCU movie. I've seen movie Doctor Strange in theaters and every MCU movie after that. And the streak continues. So there is a positive from my suffering is that my six year streak continues. Or actually, is it 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, seven year streak continues. We're gonna make it to 10 years. I don't give a fuck until this shit ends. And yeah, this is bad. Terrible movie. The only positive is, is Miss Marvel. Honest to God, that is really the only positive is Miss Marvel. This is a shit movie. I'm gonna give it a one out of five stars. I, I hate this movie. I, I found more enjoyment with Trolls. Because it's goofy and stupid. This movie is it's goofy and stupid. Like, I can... I, the only way I can watch this movie is with a bunch of beers. And, like, I just, just laughing my ass off of how shit this is. And that's about it. This is one of the worst MCU movies I've ever seen. Marvel... Mar the state of Marvel is really just... It's disappointing, man. It really is disappointing. They need a break. They need to take a fucking break to really just go to the scoring boards and to truly see what, what has to be done. Because if they're going to give us just movies like this that are just, there's no art, there's no love, there, this is like a roller coaster movie, like what Scorsese says, legit. And that's it, this film is shit. I'm, I'm going to go now, I'm going to go eat food and, and be happy, and I'm going to go f probably finish Loki. Which has actually been really good. So that's why I'm not saying MCU is dead. Because Loki's been really fucking good. And the season 2 has been great. And it's not completely dead yet. Because there's some good that comes out every now and then. And hopefully the next movie uh, kills the... Uh, hopefully does a great job. And I mean honestly I heard a guy say this is the movie that Marvel... Marvel does not need... They, they don't need this movie. This is everything that's wrong with the MCU in a fucking movie. <laughs>